Welcome again, students, to this lecture, the second lecture in this section. It's about differences between animal and plant cells. So in this lecture, we will be talking about the general differences between a plant cell and an animal cell. First of all, this is the animal cell, as you can see. The organelles or the parts of the animal cell, they include the cell membrane, which is the first line of defense which surrounds the uh, cell and it controls everything in and out the cell. We have the cytoplasm which is the liquid material inside the cell which is the majority of the cell. It's a jelly-like structure and mostly made from water. We have the nucleus. This sphere here is a nucleus and nucleus it regulates the cell activity. Inside the nucleus we have the heart of the nucleus is the nucleolus and is responsible for making ribosomes. Of course, all those details will be explained later in the previous lectures about each organelle. And this string-like structure is the chromatin, which is the DNA, the genetic information found inside the cell. Also we have, this is a mitochondrion. Here we have three mitochondria. And it's well known that the mitochondrion, it is the place of energy production of the cell. We have the Golgi body and we have the ER. They are similar to each other. ER is the endoplasmic reticulum. The ER is the site for protein synthesis or making proteins. And the Golgi body is the site of sorting, distribution of those proteins either outside or inside the cell. And finally, we have this star-like structure, which is the centriole. And the centriole, it plays a role in cell division by uh, organizing spindle fibers and of course there will be a separate lecture later on about this topic. Now why here this centriole it has a distinguished color it looks like red here it's like the animal cell color to tell you that the centriole is exclusively found in an animal cell so in plant cells we don't see the centriole at all so it's found in animal cells only. Now let's move to the plant cell the plant cell has the the same organelles except the centriole here, as you can see, so the centriole is absent. So this is the first difference, that plant cells have, uh, they have no centriole. Also the plant cell in general is larger in size, as you can see here, the size increases. Usually plant cells, they have larger size than animal cells. Also we have extra organelles. Here, as you can see, we have more organelles, we have the cell wall, this is the cell wall. It is an extra membrane outer to the cell membrane and it plays a role in the protection and determining the shape of the cell. Also, we have the chloroplast. The chloroplast is responsible for giving the green color of the plant and it plays a role in photosynthesis, making the food of the plant. We have this large vacuole and this large vacuole it acts as a storage organelle for storing water and other chemicals. Although we have some, uh, some vacuoles in the animal cell, but they are small vacuoles. They are temporary vacuoles that they appear and disappear. However, we have the vacuole in the plant cell is a large vacuole and it's permanent all the time and it's mostly made from water. Also within the cell wall we have openings here. This is an opening, a pore here and a pore. Those openings are called the plasmodesmata. And the plasmodesmata it's like for exchange of materials between one cell and another cell. For example, if a hormone, let's say an oxine, which is a hormone made by the plants, it needs to pass from one cell to another, it will pass through this channel, which is the plasma. So this is in general the uh, differences between animal cell and plant cells. In the next lecture, we will be start talking in details about the uh, structures of the animal cells and later the details of an animal of a plant cell.